Hi and Smiles everyone and welcome. It's Colleen. So today, before we go to what we're going to do today, I want to share an exquisite Christmas gift I had gotten from one of my sub subbies. She is so talented and she's amazing in her talent. This here is a bag she made for me and it's just beautiful and it uh, has two pockets one big pockets one on each side of the bag and uh, it's pink there's pinks and such and I love the colors of pinks and purples and things and this is elephants on the outside it's just beautiful but it has two zippers that you can unzip and what is so special about this bag is she has made it to store all oh, my markers and pencils and art supplies and so forth. It is amazing. So uh, like if you, there's quite a bit of room in the inside, both on the back and the front of the bag. As you can see, I've been I've filled it up quite a bit already. And she it's just gorgeous. And she sewed all of this uh along here so I can individually I don't even know what you would call that because I'm not a sewer. But it will hold my pencils and my crayons and all my art supplies type things. She's made pockets inside that are clear that you can put whatever you want inside the pocket the clear pocket along the way so I have put many many of my uh, pencils in here and markers I even have my oil pastels in here it's just absolutely divine and then on the back cover she had put this along the back so you can use it also for your markers and your and your pencils or whatever you choose to use it for and what is really cool is she has put it in here in with velcro so there is three panels like this so I took out the one panel to show you so this is the middle panel and this is the velcro and all you need to do is put it on the velcro to store it but what is really cool is if you just want to use you're using a certain section of this you can just take it apart put this aside and just have this one panel on your desk it's brilliant I absolutely love this I was so shocked when I received it and uh, I couldn't say enough about it and her talent for sewing and she's quite a quilter she's an amazing quilter as well as a seamstress or a sewer I don't know what she would prefer to be called but I'm just thank you thank you Colleen that was so very 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 special and with that she sent me some of her scraps that she had um, asking me if there was any if I had some use for it and what I thought we'd do today is we'll make a journal cover out of these scraps is what I thought would be kind of cool there's enough here that I could make a couple of um, um, journal covers out of it but we're gonna just do this one today so I chose I think I'm going to use these pinks, this cute uh, black and white, it has a little skunk on it, and flowers, so we'll call them flowers. <laughs> so I think I want to have that on the, f sort of like the start point, the focal point. And then what I want to do, I think, is I want to sew these together along like that maybe one on this side I really like this black so I'm just placing it when I sew it it will have seams coming down and uh, 
yeah and then we'll go from there and I think maybe we shall maybe put some pink here and then we'll have some of the flower down there yeah I think that's a good start to the journal cover so um, and then we'll trim it of course because I go with uh, approximately 12 by 9 is generally the size of my journals so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this and I'm going to sew the pieces together and then we'll trim it up and we'll go from there she also sent this beautiful beautiful rainbow ribbon and I'm thinking I'm going to try and find a way to use that on our journal cover and there is so so much here it's amazing how much is there but anyways I'm going to go sew this I'm not going to keep you with the sewing and I will be back in a few minutes well for you guys it'll be a second or two so I'm going to go get that done so I got it all sewed up and I'm liking how it looks. I trimmed it down to the size. I would, um, the journal cover will be. So the next thing, I want to be able to use some of this ribbon she also sent along so that I, uh, I'm using everything that she sent. So my thoughts are perhaps along the seams We'll put this ribbon. I think that looks really pretty. And then perhaps around the whole outside as well, I'm thinking might be an option too. But first, I think I want to put it, let's see what it looks like. We'll just see what it looks like putting it here and down these two sides and here and go from there is my thoughts on that so first I have this lighter here because ribbon tends to fray a lot so I'm just gonna burn the ends so it doesn't fray on me so I'm gonna just cut a piece for this I think then we'll have these pieces coming down is what I'm thinking at this point so let's cut about here okay, we'll burn the edge of that well that one caught a little bit on fire so the edges you know it's not going to be perfectly straight and that is fine so that had burnt so I just learned by doing that I made it a little too short because when you uh, use the lighter on it it does shrink it up a little bit so I've got tons of this I'll use that in another project let's get these scissors because and there's a little bit of something on here so I'm gonna just take that piece off okay so we we'll need to cut this a little longer than what we need because we can always Cut it back if we need to afterwards. So let's make it a little longer than we need. And then we will just trim it back afterwards. For now, I just want to lay it down and see if I like it or not. So we could do one there and one there because that's where the seams are coming. Let's see what this one will look like if we bring it down like this. We'll cut it about there. So that will come across there. Perhaps we can put this piece because now that I see it's underneath, right? It's gonna be, if I go underneath, this is probably gonna be long enough. If I do it that way. Okay, and then I'll just cut that off. 
Just like that. Okay. So then, if we go all around the edge too to trim the edge off, I think it might look really good. Now I'm going to just be sewing down, straight down on these ribbons. So you're going to see the thread which is what I want. I'm just going to pin these in place. This one's here I can. So we'll get those pinned in place and then we can manipulate these and see if we want them on top or on the bottom, right? these coming across here. Let's see what that looks like. Now I'm not too bothered about cutting these and then if I decide not to use them it's okay because I'll use them in another project. But I'm thinking I like this idea of trimming it this way. Now I may sew them along a little bit in from the edge only because I want to uh, cut it with my pinking shears so I have a zigzaggy looking edge to it. I like that look. But we'll just put it to the edge while we're looking at it see what we think. And then come across like this. Well, I think we'll put that underneath that one. I think I like it better on the underneath. And then one more piece here just measure this out and then about there there we go all right so we'll come along right well, underneath I think I look I like the side Nope. What am I doing? We want it on top, don't we? Okay. So that's the look we have right now. So let's see if we would like this to come across instead of underneath. Hmm. No, I think I look like it on the underneath side. I'm just wondering if perhaps it might be too much to do this the outside in the ribbon too whether it takes away from the uh, pieces the quilted pieces here so if we take these off for a minute and have a better look at what I'm thinking about or Perhaps what we need to do, let's see if we just do the outside, right? And have these two coming in the middle across. It might be the way to go. Let's have a look at it that way and see what we think. So if we just do along the outside here. Right, and uh, the two in the middle without this coming down here. Actually, I kind of like that better. 
I'm thinking that that looks better than coming along here as well. I don't know if I want that broken up quite as much. Hmm. Although that looks good too. So, I guess it's which preference. Which I prefer. Now, I have to line the inside. And I picked, this was an old curtain. So I, because I want to stick to scraps. And uh, because the inside is so raw, I want to line the inside of this. So I guess I need to make my decision on this first and then I'll show you what I'm talking about. Hmm, well, you know, I think in, I like, oh, I like it both ways. So I think what I'll do Hmm. Do I want it to look that separate? No. The more I do this, the more I'm thinking I like it like this. But I could, in essence, bring this all the way across, right? So this is uh, kind of the process you go through, right? When you just want to create and think about it. We could come cut and of course this would be all one we'll have to cut a different length so we don't have that break in there and those would come underneath here like that I think would be best and we could have it coming straight across right instead of just here right at this break you know what? I like that the best. That's what I'm going to do. Okay. So I made my decision. These we will keep for another project. So I just have to cut some lengths for this. Yeah. Yep, yep. I really like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Straight across here and across here is what we're going to do. But as you can see, the blue, I don't want, because of this, I don't want the blue on the blue, so I'm going to turn this this way. And then I don't want the green on the green over here, so that's the yellow. Okay. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to sew those all on. I'm just going to sew straight down. I think I'll do a zigzag stitch. I think that will look good. I could go with the straight stitch because these are all straight and stitched. But that way we have it standing out, right? So I'm just going to put these aside and uh, I'm going to burn all the edges two before I sew it so I will put those on after so I am just going to put these aside for now and show you the inside before I go to sew it so with piecing this together right this is what the inside looks like so I don't mind with the pattern it, that looks really great but it's the inside the pat the wadding or whatever you call it that's in in between the fabric. So I'm going to use this piece of curtain to do a liner. What I liked about this curtain is, well, the yellows and the pinks, right? That matches very well. But also it lines, but yet that, like here, that greeny kind of bluish, it's yeah turquoise color is coming through a bit and the pink comes a bit and the gold and the pink so it's subtly coming through yet it doesn't have all these rod edges showing so that's what I'm gonna do next so I'm going to just get this put together and I will show you when I'm done I'll be I'll just sew this all up and I will be right back guys 
So I got all the sewing done. I decided I wanted to just do the uh, four strips of ribbon across. Uh, I didn't, I think it looked uh, better without the ribbon coming down this way. And then I used my scissors to uh, go around the edges. I always like the look of the um, zigzag kind of edge to it from using my pinking shears. And then this is how the inside looks. So I'm quite pleased with how this turned out. Um, I think it's a really cute journal cover. I'm going to have to think about uh, what uh, I will put inside this journal. Um, we could play with a lot of rainbow type brighter colors in this journal, which is kind of cool. Then I was thinking perhaps for a closure, I may use the ribbon. I may uh, sew it together so we have no we get we don't have the white side right and uh, use that for a closure might be kind of cute but I'm gonna think about that so I want to say a huge thank you again to Colleen uh, the bag is exquisite and very special and for these scraps that you sent along with the others there's still a bit of scraps here and I was thinking as I was sewing these different scraps, I might do them into uh, flowers. Cut them, die cut them into some flowers and perhaps do a journal cover where I place the flowers all around the journal cover is one idea I have. Um, otherwise, um, I can use the flowers in different ways, I'm sure. But that is it for today. We made this beautiful journal cover. And I want you all to have a lovely, lovely day. And a very crafty kind of day. And I will see and talk to you soon. Bye for now.